Hey everyone, this is Tim and I hope you're doing well. I'm just waiting for my grab ride here and they are just a few minutes away. I'm actually here in Bangkok and I'm pretty excited because I heard there was a fantastic buffet right by the river, the Cha Phaya River and I hope I'm saying that correctly. So I uh, can't wait for a great meal and thank you so much for joining. I'm just exploring uh, myself here and a really fantastic evening. Lots of good food everywhere you go. So uh, I have a few days to explore on my own and I'm meeting a friend and co-worker who's uh, joining on this trip. So for now, I think it's just you and me. I hope you're hungry. Come on, let's grab a great buffet together. And I see my uh, grab bike is coming. Ah, hello. Thank you. Do I need a helmet? No. No helmet? Uh, okay, yeah. That was a lapse in judgment on my part, and that's the first time and the last I'd be riding without a helmet. And just so that I've learned my lesson, it not only started to rain, it poured. So this is definitely not the smartest thing to do. I love traveling efficiently on a motorbike, but I did not anticipate the rain, and boy, did it rain. This is a torrential downfall. And after stopping off at a 7-Eleven, grabbing a raincoat, we were off. For another 37 minutes of thunder and lightning and a heavy downpour of rain with water drops that are piercing your face like bullets. And now we have arrived. This is the Riverside Terrace Buffet with a gorgeous view of Bangkok in the evening. And wouldn't you know it, once we have arrived, the rain has stopped and it's actually looking pretty nice. So uh, I'm glad you're able to join virtually and uh, so glad you didn't join physically. So really grateful for that. And although my jeans are all drenched wet down here, the vessies are nice and dry and uh, they have been tested through the crucible of a torrential Thailand rainfall. The jeans will dry, but most importantly, it's nice to have the shoes and the socks dry as well so you can continue exploring. And I hear some entertainment happening. Uh, come on, let's go for a fantastic buffet. And just a little bit of a line and behind there, I can see the entertainment happening. So that's looking pretty amazing. Hi there. Uh, hi, Woon. Um, can I get uh, my table? All right, thank you. Oh, Tim. Tim. Thank you. Oh, and I have a better view here. Thank you, Woon. All right. Okay, so nice to uh, get out of that wet poncho and uh, enjoy a beautiful view here of the river. And I think there is some entertainment going on as well. And Woon has certainly situated me at a perfect spot here because I am right in front of the buffet. And I can't wait to give all those grilled foods a try. Lots of seafood. And I think they have a barbecue station there as well. And behind, Woon was saying that inside is where you'll find all the appetizers and desserts. Uh, so I ordered a cocktail, but I don't think I'm gonna wait. Uh, let's go for an amazing buffet. Let's go inside first. So just walking here, I can see all the stations. So this is kind of nice. It spans both sides, inside and out. All right, so I got the plate here and that's the salad station. Let's see what that station is over there. All right, so it just continues. So this is the end and we have some fruits over there for a nice refreshing start. But I think uh, moving on, let's go for some cheese, a beautiful melty brie, some smoked cheese, uh, Parmesan and Edam. I think they might have mixed up the two. So maybe a little bit of smoked cheese, not a lot. Oh, there we go. And that is really stuck on there and a little bit of brie on the cracker. So let's see some meats here. And while we're looking at the meats, there are more performers. And let's see what we have here. Some chorizo. A little bit of salami, some beef. And okay, some smoked salmon. Right here. So it's a little bit of choice here. You can go for the buffet and miss the show or watch the show and go for the buffet later. I am gonna choose the former, but to make most use of the time, I think we will skip 
the salad section, except for the potato salad. And this is not just potato salad. This is chicken potato salad with bacon right here. All right, this is becoming the dessert station. So we'll take you back for the beautiful cakes and the wonderful churros and a cauldron of liquid nitrogen. So I can't wait for that. Let's get some other appetizers. So we have some cold uh, seafood here, some ginormous shrimp, some mussels and some oysters. And I heard Chef is shucking these fresh and I'm gonna give it a try. Okay. Oyster here. And we'll pair it up. Oh, and some sashimi. Hi, Chef Chai. Oh, the sashimi looks wonderful. Can I get a bit of sushi and sashimi? Yes. Oh, thank you. Oh, not too much. You, oh, a lot. And then can I get a little bit of uh, one, one sushi each? Yeah. Oh, thank you, Chef. So that is looking pretty nice. And let's see, oh, all this smoky goodness. I think we are entering into the territory of Maine's and a beautiful grill. But let's see what else we have. Oh, wonderful tempura. Thank you, Chef. So these are the veggie tempura and these are the shrimp tempura. And I saw Chef making all these crispy goodness. Little light, flaky, crusty, crackling. A little bit here and a little bit more and maybe one more all right let's see what else they have so this is outside and it's nice to have a nice cool breeze after that torrential downpour again uh that motorbike ride was not a good idea 37 minutes in the pouring rain and uh let's see what we have here so after surviving that rainfall nothing is better than a warm comforting bowl of soup and this is tom yum soup, hot and sour prawn soup. A little bit here and a little bit more. There we go. A splash of lime juice for some freshness, a bit of cilantro for that herby goodness, and a little bit of chilies for the heat. All right, I better get back to the table soon because the tempura and the soup won't wait. And let's see. Chef, is that garlic naan? Yes. Ah. I can't say no to some fresh naan and some papadoms. Right over here. And a crispy papadom. Some Indian appetizers. Some chicken tikka. A little bit of paneer. Oh, and some butter chicken. A lot of sauce. And a little bit of yogurt. And I think that is good for the first round. Nice to get back to the table now that everything is dry, jeans are drying up. And again, uh, I think the performance is just over, but that's okay, there's more to come. And it's always nice to find something new at the table. This, I believe, is an Americano, not the coffee. And I think the show is about to begin. Look at this. All right, interesting here. Pretty amazing here. Got to try the cocktail again. Oh, very nice. So wonderful performers here. And this is an Americano. Cheers to you. Mm. A little bit of Campari, a little bit of vermouth. And in fact, this is James Bond's first drink in Casino Royale. And look at the performers giving their final bow. Beautiful performances and cheers again. And as nice as the Americano is, I think I got to try the Tom Yum soup. So a traditional Thai favorite, a lot of shrimp, some soup here. Wonderfully tangy, nice and spicy, deep flavors, and it just opens up the appetite. A little bit of mushrooms. Mm. What a way to open up the appetite. And I think we better dig in to the prawn tempura next while it is still hot and crispy. 
a little bit of the tempura sauce. Oh. So delicate and crunchy. The shrimp is nice and fresh and Chef has made it extra crispy by adding those wonderful flourishes of crummy, crunchy goodness. A little bit more. Mm. Very good. And I can't resist with the tom yum soup. I got to try the bread in the form of papadam. Mm. A nice crunch to the tom yum soup. And speaking of bread, a little bit of the naan while it's still fresh. Nice and crispy. Oh, with the butter chicken. <laughs> nice and messy. Uh, I'll find the chicken soon, but that's okay. Mm. Nice, wonderful tomato flavors, a bit of tang and the richness from the butter and the yogurt cuts it beautifully. Mm. What a good start. And before it gets too cold, let's try the sushi. And Chef has plated this up, overloading. And I think I'm gonna go for one of the rolls first in a little bit of soy. And I think this is a salmon and a California roll with a bit of tobiko. Wow. They do a good job with the sushi. Each one is perfectly balanced with the rice in the roll and a wonderful topping of salmon and uh, little pops from the egg. Mm. Gotta try the oyster while they are still cold. A little bit of the mignonette and a little bit of the crunchy scallions or uh, shallots. Let's see, cut that out. Let's give this a try. With the cracker stuck to the bottom, looks really nice. Mm. And it is nice and fresh and the brightness from the mignonette and a little bit of crunch from the shallots. Mm. Very nice. And finally, I got to try the sashimi. Always nice to have a bit of fresh salmon and chef was so generous. Uh, a little bit of soy and wasabi. Mm. Very nice. And still chilled. So I think I'm going to finish up the first round and I'll take it back for the mains because I saw them growing up these massive river prawns and many traditional Thai favorites. I can't wait to give it a try and what a start to a great buffet. Mm. Quite a lot of food for the first round, but very delicious. And after finishing the tom yum soup, it was spicy and to relieve it, a little bit of cheese and cracker. And while we're at it, Combining the smoked salmon with the brie and the cracker, a perfect bite. And who says cheese and fish doesn't mix? And to continue mixing it up, a little bit of that wonderful potato salad on the smoky cheese cracker. Again, a perfect bite with that sweet buttery potato and that smoky cheese and a flaky cracker. So a really nice way to get started. Come on, let's go for round two. Oh, and I see Chef grilling up a storm. Oh, beautiful. These are uh, lamb chops. Beef. Oh, beautiful. Oh, thank you. So always go for the grilled meats last so that they remain nice and hot. Let's see. A little bit of corn. And these are a wonderful roast potato. Probably the best potato I've seen. Nice and caramelized. Go for a little bit. Lots of thyme. And thyme is certainly not running out. All right, let's see some veggies. And this is some veggies I would go for. This is broccoli gratin next to the potatoes. We have some carrots and we have an alcove of goodness. 
I think this is a pasta station. Some penne, some pasta, and some fusilli, because most of us are a bit silly. And uh, let's see, I'm going to skip the pasta for now, because that can be just a bit filling. And oh, look at this. Hello, chef. Wow, this looks amazing. They have a roasted duck and the crispiest pork you've ever seen. And I can see the striations of fat and the meat. Uh, chef, may I, may I get one? The, can I get a... Chef, may I get a duck and a pork? Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you again. Yes, peanut sauce? Oh, some sauce. Oh, thank you. Look at this beautifully lacquered duck with the roast pork and the crunchy skin. And over there is a fantastic noodle station. I'm definitely gonna go for a bowl of noodles and I'll skip the pasta. Let's see, rounding the corner, we have the dim sum station. And let's see what we have. Oh, some xiao mai. Some green xiao mai. Another green xiao mai. And hopefully we have the Vegas luck, the third green xiao mai. Ah. So better luck next time and let's see what we have. This is a pineapple fried rice and I thought that was going to fall. Let's try a little bit next to the broccoli. And I realize this is a very colorful plate and it certainly gets better with a pad thai. Okay. My first pad thai in Thailand, right over here. A little bit of bean sprouts and a sprinkling of peanut and a wedge of lime for later. And of course, a branch of green. And there is more with the traditional Thai favorites. This is a salad station I can get used to. A seafood glass noodle salad next to the Pad Thai. And even better, this is a pomelo salad. Very refreshing. At least that's what I imagine. Uh, and of course, the iconic papaya salad. And then now an array of cloches here. Let's see. Ah, some stir fried chicken. I'm gonna go for a little bit of this. This might be nice with a little bit of the pad thai. And we'll wedge it in right here. Okay, sweet and sour pork. Okay, Thai style. Oh, a red curry. I definitely need to go for some of that. And where you find curry, you find the much required jasmine rice. All right, and then we have, ah, this is the Tendor station that I was just at. So I think we need to pay Chef a visit. Hi, Chef Nat. Hello, hello. Sorry, Oh, the, the, your station looks beautiful. Oh, thank you. Um, can I get some uh, river prawns? Of course. Oh, thank you. How many do you want? Oh, maybe two. Anything else for you? We also got a sea bass oh. and a squid. Oh, can I go for the sea bass? Okay. And a squid also. Maybe a little squid. Okay. And Chef Nat, what is yeah. that? Rip. Oh, okay. let's see. So this is the American station. Uh, yes, it's, it's called smoke station. Oh, smoke station. Yes. Can yeah. I go for maybe two pork ribs, two ribs? Yes. Oh, I think. We also have chicken barbecue. We also have pork sausage and a beef sausage. Oh, I think that is uh, enough. Thank you, Chef Nat. Okay, thank you. Here we go. Oh, thank you. Enjoy. Will do. So saying I might have overdid it is certainly the understatement of the year. Uh, I couldn't help it. I actually got a little bit of the red curry with the rice. And again, a beautiful Thai dish, a little bit of Western and Asian. And this is definitely Western, but with the grilled foods, I think we better eat it while it's nice and hot. So these are the grilled river prawns from Chef Nat. And oh, beautiful, uh, uh, I think this is tamale here. Mm. Beautiful fresh flavors. And I actually think the head is the best part. Oh, very nice. 
Mm. Give it a try if you haven't had the prawn heads, but I think I'm gonna go for the meat. A little bit of peeling. And uh, while it is certainly appealing, uh, I'm sorry for the pun, a little bit of chili sauce. Mm. Nicely grilled, a little bit of char and nice and meaty and sweet. And the wonderful chili lime sauce, really nice. Bit of work with the shell, but I want to try that barbecue duck while it is still warm and the wonderful fatty goodness. Mm. That duck, beautifully cooked, nice and juicy, and that lacquer skin, a little bit of crispy on the outside and luscious fatty layer on the inside. Oh, so good. And while we're eating, we can see the river boats go by. And I believe the river boat also has a buffet as well. Let's try the crispy roasted pork and a little bit of skin. Hmm. Not bad, but the skin isn't as crisp as it can be. Maybe it's just been out for a while, but the meat is nice and juicy and fatty. Beautiful roast pork. Mm. I think I need to do a switcheroo and try the Thai style dishes. Let's flip this around and there we go. And I got to try the Pad Thai first. All right. Oh, maybe a little bit of lime to freshen things up. Let's give this a try. Oh, nice rice noodles. There we go. Mm. Very nice. And I wish I could have come up with a better word than very nice, but beautifully tangy, sweet, sour, all the wonderful flavors. Mm. I'm curious, I've never tried a pomelo salad before, but one way to find out if it's good, and it looks a little spicy. Mm. It's got chilies, but it's very flavorful, not spicy. And that little bit of heat you get is perfectly extinguished by the sweetness of the pomelo Mm. I think I've got to cross the Rubicon and go for that sea bass over there. And behind the sea bass is a little bit of the chili sauce. Mm. Oh, there's no turning back. That sea bass is grilled to perfection. A nice crust, crispy skin and perfectly cooked on the inside, nice and flaky, not overdone. Mm. Chef Nat outdid himself and crossing over the Rubicon again, let's go for the papaya salad. Very refreshing and I think we need to go for something that is not very refreshing, and that is a red Thai curry. And I know this might be a mistake with the rice, but uh, I doubt you can have curry without rice. It's almost like having a uh, kare kare without rice. As simple as it is, this is probably the best dish I've ever had. The curry is sweet and fragrant and spicy and depth of flavors all around. Mm. Make sure if you're here, go for the sea bass, but also go for the red curry. Very nice. So I think I'm gonna finish up this round. I'm gonna go for some of the grilled station before they close this down. Because uh, I think I've I've gotten here pretty late because of the rain and uh, oh gosh, that rain. I think I need a drink to lessen the painful memories of that 37 minute ride. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. It's 
to the comment about overdoing it being an understatement certainly rings true. Lots of food here. And that fried rice, it was pretty good. Standard fried rice, but the broccoli au gratin, so much buttery, creamy goodness. I can get used to a vegetable like that. And as much as a barbecue rib seeming a little bit out of place, it was so tender and delicious. Perfectly cooked, low and slow, just melts in your mouth. And I still have a little bit of potatoes and broccoli left. So I think I'm gonna finish this up with uh, some items from the grill station. Let's check it out. All right, so let's see what grilled meats they have. Oh my goodness, you have uh, chicken and that's pork and you have Wagyu beef. Hi, chef. Hi, can I get some of the uh, Wagyu beef? Beef? Yes, I am saving the best for last. And the reason I'm doing that, because I didn't know it existed. Otherwise I'd get it first and look at this. Oh, beautiful. Thank you, Chef. Nice to have the Wagyu beef while it is nice and warm and I couldn't resist the Chinese noodle station. I got some rice noodles freshly cooked with a bit of soup. And that is nice and comforting to have, but I think we will start with the Wagyu beef. Mm. I know it is cooked well, but it is nice and tender. It's uh, not one of the A5, but uh, very tender nonetheless. Mm. Just a bit of chew, but not much at all. And I think a little bit of broccoli along with the beef makes a perfect combination. It's gonna get that little prawn uh, tentacle off. And this, oh, maybe two. And this is beef and broccoli Thai style. Talk about biting off more than you can chew. Mm. Luckily, the beef is nice and tender, a perfect match. Mm. And to round it off, a little meat and potatoes. Very good. Very short work of the meat. And I think we'll go for the noodles. All right, really nice to have a warm, comforting bowl of noodles and a little bit of crispy bits. Maybe the crispy bits first. A little soggy on the bottom, crispy on top, as expected. And let's see, a little bit of noodles. The wonderful rice noodles and the shrimp ball or the fish ball. Mm. Very nice, warm, hot, and a wonderful slippery, slurpy noodle. Mm. So, not a lot to finish up, but I'll uh, eat up the noodles and we'll take it back for dessert. All right, so finally, this is the dessert station. Back in the room we go. So this is interesting. Where do we begin? From the waffles and the fixings to the fresh churros and the crepe Suzette. And finally, I recall this. This is the cauldron and I will come back to this at the very end to keep it nice and cold. And these are the traditional Thai desserts. So definitely go for a little bit of that. But let's check out some of the cakes and uh, sweet confections. And this is interesting. This is near the close of the buffet and it's still looking really nice. One of the things that might not be apparent is that uh, when I'm at the buffet and filming, it actually takes a lot longer than what's shown in the video. So the buffet is closing shortly, but I think I will go for this matcha opera cake, a meal foy layer type dessert. Let's see, maybe another cut here. Ah, there we go. Delicately balanced and a bit of an ultrasonic shake. Just need a sonic screwdriver. Okay, and moving on, 
we've got the chocolate cake, a strawberry cream cake, and I think this is a cheesecake. And unfortunately, the cheesecake is too heavy, but the strawberry cream cake looks like a good candidate. Just not sure how to... I'm gonna move this shard away. Oops. It's okay. With all great things, something might need to be destroyed. That did not come out right, but uh, not sure even what it means. Constructive destruction? There we go. And the evening is certainly getting on. I think I'm starting to ramble. Oh, interesting. Because right here, we have the mini versions of the big cakes. But upon closer inspection, they are different. Because right down there is a pandan cake. I thought it was matcha. Let's see, squeeze through this opening. Really looking forward to that one. And down there, we have a strawberry mousse. And, and further up, I think that is mango sticky rice cheesecake. No cheesecake, but I will go for the blueberry mousse, which is really hard to get at. And again, hopefully, carefully on the plate. And I should have been paying attention because they have it on top. It's just labeled as chocolate mousse, but that is the one I got earlier. The mango sticky rice cheesecake is actually already on top for you. so. Cannot say no over here. And they have the ice cream. Hello. Hello. Beautiful. Thank you. All right. Let's see what we have. The standard flavors and the tropical flavors. But I think I will go visit that liquid nitrogen uh, type display there. I found out that was only for display only. But let's see what this is and see if Chef can help. I think these are some water chestnuts. And I think this is a traditional Thai dessert. This is ice. Coconut meal. Oh. Oh, can I, can I try? Yes. Oh, thank you. This is the cream. Ah. Wow. Oh. This is lot. Oh, that's good. Little bit. Little bit. You so you sweet? Huh? Yes, little sweet. Coconut meal. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, Please. thank you so much. Oh, very kind of chef there. And I think we will finish this off with a wonderful churro or maybe two. Let's see. Carefully. Just barely enough room with a little bit of a drizzle. And that is a fantastic way to end the meal. Okay, I think that is the perfect amount for dessert. I didn't go overboard, but I want to try the traditional Thai dessert first. And a little bit of ice, a little bit of water chestnuts, a little jelly, and of course the coconut milk. Let's give that a try. Oh, looking really good. This is red and green Christmas colors. Oh. This dessert is fantastic. The water chestnut is a perfect texture, crunchy and refreshing, and a little bit of jelly on top. And the coconut milk, so luscious in a tropical sense. Mm. That's very good. I wanna try the pandan cake with its many layers, and I'm sure it will be quite floral. Mm. And it is very floral, but light and moussey and cakey in a perfect way. The layers of flavors and textures are just melding together. Oh. Got to try this traditional Thai dessert. And this is eaten hot. I think it has some tapioca pearls, large ones. Mmm. Oh, that's an interesting flavor. A bit citrusy and a little bit of rose water, I detect. Creamy and luscious, a bit warm. Mm. And a little savory too. Not my favorite, it's just because I'm not a big fan 
of rose water because it uh, reminds me of soap. But let's try next to the pandan, the matcha opera cake with the many layers of chocolate and matcha and cake. Mm. Beautiful opera cake. So what a way to finish off the buffet and enjoy this gorgeous view now that the performances are over and it was a nice performance as well. Thank you so much for joining me and uh, I hope we can continue this adventure together and uh, discover wonderful places in Asia. So until we see each other again, I hope you're keeping well, I hope you're eating well, and I hope you're traveling well. And I also hope you're staying out of the rain uh, and definitely stay away from uh, motorbikes in the pouring rain. So again, thank you so much. And I think that churro is calling my name. Mm. A wonderful cinnamon sugar crunch. So I wish you all the best and God bless to you and yours. Bye for now. Mm-hmm.